Welcome everyone, my name is Ghost Utah, and today my friends, we are finally going to present Spider-Man's suit. We've been holding off for a while now, and I'm glad we're finally doing it, getting out of the way. So, let's jump into it. As you can tell, I'm rocking with the advanced spider suit. Advanced suit. This one's pretty cool. I like Insomniac's vision of Spider-Man. It's it reminds me of some sort of the Amazing Spider-Man, sort of how he had the like the color on the shoe, like the color on the um feet, like the little extra crap. Just the extra armor on the feet. There we are. We're saying it now. And it, it looks kind of good. I do really like the knuckles. How it's got the white. And then it expands out sort of towards his forearm. And there is a huge rat. Anyways. So. This one is the classic damage suit. As you can, as you can, got, as you guys can tell, it's all torn, ripped up, dirty. The classic suit you get during the first part of the game. As soon as you become Spider-Man, you're in the classic suit. And the, and the advanced suit you get it, like, ten minutes into it. So this is the classic suit without being damaged or worn down. And it's pretty, it, I like, I like it. It's pretty classical Spider-Man. It really delivers, it really takes me back to the movies and some of the comic books, which is really nice. So then we're going to go on ahead and the noir suit. Now here's where we get to complicated sto Spider-Man storylines and all of that good stuff. So this is a, this suit is, um... Sort of like the 1920 Spider-Man, like during the Great Depression, New York City, sort of, and it looks really nice. The black and it's got like those trousers, like the trousers with the lines. It's got also got that like leather vest. It also has the lines on the arms. This is actually the. Civilians are trapped inside their vehicles following a crash. That's great. Any officers near firehouse, please copy. This is actually the first Spider-Man that wields a firearm, a weapon. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see here. See? I'm pretty sure it's a Magnum. But anyways. Yeah, it, it totally matches how... It, it matches its timeline. Now the Scarlet Spider, I have no clue who this is. I don't know who's the who takes the mantle of this Spider-Man. So I don't really know much. Like I said, some of these suits I probably have no clue and the other ones I'll know, but most of them I probably won't know their whole origin. And there's a lot of animals that just popped up here. <coughs> but yeah, this is kind of a cool one. I don't I I have never used this in like, I've never used it swinging around the city. It's just there, like a trophy. Yeah, it's also got... The words are in the way. The subtitles. It's got, like, little pockets on the um, ankles. The belt. It's got... I don't know. Are these web cartridges? I mean, they look like it. He's also got some on his belt, too. The suit, the suit power is pretty cool. A hollow decay. It's like multiple Spider-Mans that come out at once. It's pretty cool. The electrical. Oh, Scarlet Spider suit. Noir suit. The electrical insulated suit. Now, this one you can kind of get. It is. It's the electro. Like, this is the suit that 
Spider-Man fights when he fights Electro because he can take more electrical shocks with this suit than he can in his regular attire. I don't usually use this one much either. This one's just hanging in the spider closet, as you could say. It, it really looks nice. I like the dark blue, and then you got the red padding. It also looks cool on the fingers. It's got the red fingers. It's a really neat looking suit. Now this one, I kind of know where this came from. I thought it was Insomniac's. I thought this was an Insomniac input. But no, this is actually a spider suit in the comics. So this one, the Fantastic Four, the negative zone sort, yeah, the negative zone, and was studied by the Fantastic Four. The Fantastic Four knew about the negative zone, and then Spider-Man wound up in it, in the, in the thing, and... It got all over his suit, and it's a pretty cool suit. It's also like it changes like colors. It'll go to it like like you'll turn gray and then white. Pretty neat looking suit. This is the negative suit, and oh, okay. Now everybody knows where this comes from, but if you don't, this is the Stark suit. This is Spider-Man's upgrade to his homecoming, to his home suit. This is the Stark suit, which was pres which was in Captain America: Civil War, the Amazing, not Amazing, Spider-Man: Homecoming, and I think, if I'm not wrong, it was in um, Avengers: Infinity War. I really like this one. I like the movie. That's that's sort of why I like this. Because every time I see the suit, I'm like, hey, there's Tom Holland. You know, just stuff like that. But yeah, this suit, I, I swing around this suit a lot. And when I was going through the story by myself, I played with this suit sort of sometimes. But yeah, this is from, this is his first, like, All real suit by, in the MCU, sort of. Any officers near firehouse, please copy. I think it I think this was in the comics too. But I'm just taking this from the movies aspect. This is his first like real Spider-Man suit. So then we go on ahead in the Secret Wars. Now I don't know much about this one. I have no clue. But it looks nice. I like the blue. I really like I said some of these suits I don't play with them. I don't swing around with them. They they're just there. Which I really should. I really should give some of these suits a more, a more chance. But it is what it is. I think this one... This one is in a comic book line. Like a comic book storyline. But I don't know when the Secret Wars were. I think it was like... F before Civil War? Maybe after? I don't know. Don't accuse me of that one. But I think this one, Spider-Man actually made himself for the Secret Wars. Looks really nice. I like the red. The red linings and the blue spider. The blue spider looks cool. It enlarges. Now, that was the Secret War suit. I keep on forgetting the titles of these every time I show them to you. And this is the Spider Armor Mark II suit. Now this one's th this one I heard was in the Amazing Amazing Spider-Man game for like the Xbox 360 and the PS3, which I never played. So I've heard this is from it, which is really cool. I like how the like the spider symbol like goes throughout a suit, goes to his neck and to the it it goes down his whole suit. It looks really cool and how the eyes if you I can't zoom in, but if you can see it how his eyes wrap around his like half of his head. This really reminds me of Tron the movie cuz it's like really it's 
really what gives it away. Like, every time I see it, I'm like, hey, that's a Tron suit. It's spider Punk. This, I don't know what this one is. It looks really nice. But then again, like I said, never played with it, which I should. Now, I think I do know the story of this one. Don't get me wrong. Like, don't. I mean, if if it's not, you can say it. But I think this one, there was a Spider-Man who loved, who was a professional guitar, not a professional guitarist, who played guitar. And then he finally rallied up and made a revolution in New York where he's got spider chucks look spider chucks he's got spider-man chuck taylors that is really cool he's branding himself my bad the wrestler suit now I'm kinda shocked that this wasn't the Tobey Maguire like Tobey Maguire suit which I'm pretty sure everybody was kind of upset about it. Well, not upset, just shocked that they didn't put in. But I do know why. Because Tobey Maguire, like, his Peter Park, that Peter Parker wasn't Spider-Man yet. So he could show his face, and he wasn't Peter Parker yet. Like, Spider-Man, not Peter. He was Peter Parker, but not Spider-Man. And he made his suit from, in his... If you've seen the movie, he like makes a suit for wrestling for money, and in this one, he, you can barely see his you barely see his face in this like game, except Attention if you unit, go to the lab Suspects or story mode, to which I really like. This one's a really cool. Looks like someone made it from a WWE character. <laughs> That was the wrestler suit. The fear itself suit. Now you guys know that I like this one. I actually played with this one two videos before. And there's something I did not show you. Get out of my way, pigeons. This suit's really cool. Uh it I just like the blue. The blue are what really gets me. And so you're going to see why wow, this is the coolest suit ever. It just appealed to me. Like, I don't really know where this one comes from. Like, what storyline this comes from. But, it looks really freaking awesome. See, look. It glows in the dark. Hang on. No! Okay, I'm going to show you something. If Yens can see it, he's glowing. He's glowing. Which is really cool. I just, I like the white and the blue. It's just, he's got like braces on with claw, like little claws on him. The stealth big time suit. This one, this one reminds me a lot of Splinter Cell. Just the black and green and this one also I hit my mic but this one also I like this one too it's really cool looking now this one glows too if I can get down there oh crap see it's glowing as well it reminds me of splinter cell so it's a really cool suit the Spider Armor Mark III suit. Now this one reminds me so much of the Red Hood from the DC from the DC universe. Because in the cartoons he has like that sort of mask. And it really yeah, I really like it. This one's kinda like Yeah, it's kinda like the Red Hood, but a spidey twist to it. Like the armor and stuff, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Oh my god! I don't know why. I just wanted to show you how the stealth suit and the fear itself suit really look. They look amazing. 
at night time. I play with those at night a lot. And I also done a video with the stealth suit as well. Oh, I didn't know that. It had blue in it. Like the shoulders and the, the shoulder pads and the arms. I didn't know that. I played with this one a little bit. So, this one's really cool. Armor. But I don't see Spider-Man wearing armor, so... It's... It's not me. The Spirit Spider. Now, this one I... Kinda know. Like, there was this... Spider-Man in... In an alternate universe where... He did not take power with great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. He did not do that. So... I think he died and then the devil gave him a second chance. But he had to learn what with great power and responsibility means. So he's Ghost Spidey. Ghost Rider Spider-Man. Which is really cool. I like the flaming head. He reminds me of... Actually, I think I did play with... Like, Jens did see a little play. Like a play with this one. But like I... But it looks like Hades from the Hercules. Disney animated movie with the blue flaming head, but the spider the spider on the back looks kind of devilish. The Spider Man's from hell, so don't mess with him. Which is I really like. It's not like a suit either. It's like an actual skeleton. The Spider Armor Mark IV suit. I think that's Mark IV. I don't know my Roman numerals. This one I like to call the Chrome Spider. The Chrome Spider Man. Because, I mean, come on, look. He's got chrome all over him. He's also got green eyes and, like, a green spidey symbol. Which, okay. The spider symbol on this one, on the back, looks kind of like the regular spidey symbol. But when you flip him around, it's, like, all weird looking. But this one's a cool suit. I like how it like glares off the sun. How the sun glares on it and it just looks really cool. Chrome spotty everybody. The velocity suit. Now, I played with this one a little, but not a lot. That rat is everywhere. But this one's a pretty good suit. I like I said, I need to really appreciate more suits <laughs> but like the mark 2 suit the spider the spider symbol goes all the way down his suit like his body which I think is really cool the blue as you can tell my favorite color is blue but like the blue and this spider-man looks weird like it looks like a beetle or something this is a really cool suit. Especially it's super especially it's suit power. Where's that? Blitz. Micro gyro micro gyros allows faster sprinting, real time momentum, transfers, knockdown enemies. It's really cool. Now this one This one's my favorite. I really like this one, not just because, not just because it was in Avengers and it was teased in Spider-Man: Homecoming. It just really looks nice in the lighting, as you can tell. It really looks nice. I like, and it's kind of weird to see Spider-Man. Sp Spidey-Man. It's kind of weird seeing Spider-Man in armor. To me, it is. Because I'm used to him, like, wearing, like, spandex, is sort of say. But, yeah, this is the suit that Tony Stark gave him to become an Avenger. So, which this was, like I said, in Infinity War, he used, he mainly used this suit in Infinity War. Officers, be advised. A mugging was just... So, it's a really cool suit. I like it. It's got, like... It's also got iron arms, like the, like the iron, um, 
claws sort of thing. The Spider-Man 2099 black suit. I don't know much about this one. I don't even think this is a suit. It don't look like it. But I do like the like knives on the forearms. And the skull looks really, really wicked. It reminds me of Hydra, but that's not... That's Spider-Man. I don't really... I know... No. I don't know. This one's... 2099 Spider-Man with 2099 villains. That's all I know. And this was also in the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 Detention video game. Robbery in progress. Which is really Suspects cool. It, it don't look like a suit, Officers does it? In the area of it Columbia. looks like sort of like a symbiote venom, sort of. Because it looks skin tight. It don't look like a suit. Now, Yens know that I like this one. The Spider-Man 2099 white suit. I mean, come on. How can you not like this? Look at this. It looks cool. I think it's just the white, the red, and the black that really gets to me. Especially the red chrome sort of deal. His eyes look weird. And he's also got longer knives. And the skull is a little... The spider suit's a little short, but the eyes are longer. It's really cool. I actually did a playthrough with this one, too. Really nice. I like that one. So, and then we're going to go ahead and with the vintage comic book suit. This one's really cool because your brain tells you that this does not look right. And now... My brain tells me that this don't look right. It it just like, hey, that it doesn't look right. But I like how they put this one in the game. It's so comic booky. Oh, and Local when you unit, move the lot. Was just reported. Be advised. See, it's like Officer blue right here. Central Park. Please copy. And it's like black, blue, blackish blue in the back. It's just classic Spidey man. Oh, and his eyes are like yellow, like pixelated. Like you know how the comic book art was. The last stand suit. Now, I really don't know where this comes from. I have no clue what universe this is. But it looks like Spider-Man had a sort of downgrade sort of say on his suit but it looks nice he's got black he's got he's wearing black jeans and a leather jacket with a spider with a spider-man logo on the front and the back and it looks like he just found like a morph you know those morph suits cut the mask off and put eyeballs on it it's really not it looks really cool but that's probably how he made it <laughs> Okay, now this one's kind of weird. <laughs> this one's weird. Spider-Man undies. Now, this is your casual Spider-Man. When he forgot to wash his Spidey suit, he has got loud footsteps. Yep, this is Spider-Man. If he did not quit, what are you ever doing? Yep. He for hey, Peter Parker has some... Off days too, guys. Don't make fun of him. He forgot to wash his spidey suit. He ain't got nothing else to wear. And this is just sad Sunday morning. <laughs> it looks really weird. And he's also showing his support. Spidey undies. I'm not going to zoom in close because that's a little weird. Insomniac, you funny. Now, the homemade suit. I like this one. This one looks really, really fun and really cool. This one was in Homecoming and Civil War. Like, he's got some long socks, some gym pants, a vest, or it might be a sweatshirt. That might be a jacket. I'm not sure. 
and a hockey map, like a um, crap ski mask with goggles on it. It looks really Backup nice. Needed for a chase in progress. I Any use this. Oh, his strings on his copy. the strings on his jacket go up and down. I've swinged around in that one multiple times. It's pretty fun. Now this is when Spider-Man just wants to support his local college, the Empire State, the ECU suit, like casual blue jeans, some shoes, some skate shoes, and a shirt. Now this is probably Sunday. This is probably a regular spotty day when he when it's probably too hot in that suit. I mean, he's probably going to be hot in the pants, but still. This one is really funny. I've webbed around in this one a couple of times. It's really fun. Walking down the sh walking in the street with it. It's really funny. The anti ox suit. Now this one's kind of a sp well, not so to say spoiler, but you get this at the end when you fight Doc Ock, Dr. Octopus. All units, assistance needed for civilians involved so in the vehicle So he upgraded, he up, is firehouse on the west side. shut up. He upgraded his suit, sort of the same, like, tech that Dr. Octopus's, like, arms are in this game, sort of. The yellow, kind of, the symbol of this one looks like this one. It's really cool. Actually, it's probably just the same suit, but armorized. The dark suit. Now, this one's not sort of, a, say, a spoiler, but this is for doing cat, black cat's missions. Which are not, like you don't get to meet her or anything. She's on a intercom thing. But you get this once you complete her missions. And this is the closest we're going to get out of, a, out of a symbiote suit. If they put it in the game and further DLCs. So, it looks really nice. The red. I like the red of it. And the red eyes just kind of creep me out a little. But it, it looks sick, awesome. Looks good. And hopefully, once the new DLC comes out, I can show you guys more suits. Because you get suits with those as well. So, look forward for that. So anyway guys, that does it for me. Um, let me know which was your favorite suit. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. I don't know if I will be doing the Spider-Man walkthrough. I have no clue. Because, I mean, we've done so... We've kind of done so much on Spider-Man. And I don't want half of my, you know, channel to be on Spider-Man. Which I have nothing against. But still, you guys are probably going to be like... Probably get old. Like, sick and tired of it. So... I probably won't do the walkthrough of it, so sorry about that. If you if you want me to do it, I'll be f gladly to do it, but it I'm just not. It I don't know. I mean, I have I'm probably getting some new games coming up. We can kind of want to focus on those new games coming up, so. Anyways, yeah, that does it for the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what's your favorite suit. And um, if you are excited for DLCs, I can do those. I'll do some DLC, like missions and the storylines of the DLCs. But, yeah. So, like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell for notifications when my videos go up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.